Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious homemade butter pecan pound cake from scratch. Now, the unique thing about this cake is that it uses both salted and unsalted butter, butter extract, and a little hint of maple extract just to give it that butterscotch flavor that butter pecan ice cream has, along with our butter, eggs, sugar, and flour. This recipe, you can get about 18 to 20 or possibly more servings, all depending on how you slice it. It's flavorful, buttery, just like the homemade butter pecan ice cream is. It's absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all that you'll need to make your homemade butter pecan pound cake. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need some all-purpose flour or cake flour, sugar, salt, baking powder, unsalted butter and salted butter at room temperature. You can use either or, but I'm going to use both. Of course, this is a butter pecan pound cake. <laughs> and along with that, you'll need some large eggs at room temperature, whole milk at room temperature, heavy whipping cream at room temperature, sour cream at room temperature, butter extract, maple extract, vanilla extract, confectioner sugar, some chopped pecans, and for color, you're going to need some brown gel paste or liquid food coloring. And for your tools, you'll need some Baker's Joy nonstick baking spray. And to bake your cake, you will need a Nordic Ware Anniversary Bunt Pan. Now, this is a 15 cup in capacity bunt pan. You can also use a two pan as well. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. We're going to get started with our dry ingredients. So in this medium sized bowl with a mesh strainer, add three cups of all purpose flour or cake flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. If you're using all salted butter, you can omit the salt from the recipe. Sift all ingredients into this medium sized bowl. Stir all your ingredients together. For our wet ingredients in a separate medium sized bowl, if you're using all purpose flour, add one third cup of whole milk at room temperature, a half a cup of heavy whipping cream at room temperature, and a half a cup of sour cream at room temperature. If you're using cake flour, add a half a cup of whole milk at room temperature, two third cup of heavy whipping cream at room temperature, and two third cup of sour cream at room temperature, three teaspoons of butter extract, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one fourth or a half a teaspoon of maple extract. That's going to give it that nice butterscotch flavor that butter pecan ice cream has. Here I have a toothpick. I dipped it into the brown gel paste food coloring. I'm just going to swirl that into the liquid. Stir all your ingredients together with a whisk until combined. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 400 degrees. Okay, let's get started with roasting our pecans. Here I have an eight by eight inch baking pan. Add one and one third cups of chopped pecans right on in there. Shake the pan to make the pecans even. And from there, the pecans are ready to be roasted in the oven. Place this into a preheated 400 degree oven on the middle rack. Roast this for seven minutes. It's been about seven minutes now. Let's remove our pecans from the oven. Let the roasted pecans cool completely. Okay, let's get started with the preparation of our cake batter. In a stand mixer bowl fitted with the paddle attachment, you can also use a hand mixer as well. Here I have two sticks of unsalted butter softened and at room temperature, and one stick of salted butter softened and at room temperature. Add that in there. And three cups of sugar. Start your mixer on a low speed just to get that butter and sugar incorporated. Turn your mixer up to the highest setting. 
Mix this on high speed for six minutes. At some point during those six minutes, stop your mixer and scrape down the sides of your bowl. Continue mixing that in. All right, scrape down the sides of your bowl. Start your mixer on a medium speed. Add five large eggs in at room temperature, one at a time. All right, scrape down the sides of your bowl. Next, we're going to alternate the all-purpose flour or cake flour mixture and the butter vanilla cream mixture into the batter. We're only adding this in here three separate times. Add the first amount of the all-purpose flour or cake flour mixture and the first amount of the butter vanilla cream mixture. Mix this on a medium low speed for about 15 to 20 seconds or until combined. All right, scrape down the sides of your bowl. Add the second amount of the all-purpose flour or cake flour mixture and the second amount of the butter vanilla cream mixture. Mix this on a medium low speed for about 15 to 20 seconds or until combined. All right, scrape down the sides of your bowl. Add the third amount of the all-purpose flour or cake flour mixture and the third amount of the butter vanilla cream mixture. Mix this on a medium low speed for about 15 to 20 seconds or until combined. All right, scrape down the sides of your bowl. Add one and one fourth cups of your roasted chopped pecans right on in there. Take a spatula and fold the pecans into the batter. Make sure you do this really well. Scrape down the sides of your bowl and the cake batter is ready. You will have a small amount of the roasted pecans left over about two tablespoons of it. Set that on the side because we're gonna add that into the icing later. Spray your bunt or tube pan with the Baker's Joy non-stick baking spray. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 325 degrees. Add your prepared cake batter into your bunt or tube pan. Spread the batter around your bunt or tube pan as evenly as possible with a spatula. To make the batter more even, shake your pan slightly. Tap the bottom of your baking pan with your hand as well. Now it is ready to be baked. Place this into a preheated 325 degree oven on the middle rack. Bake this for one hour and 15 minutes. It's been about one hour and 15 minutes now for our cake. Let's remove this out of the oven. Toothpick inserted into the cake should come out clean. Let the cake cool for about three to five hours before removing it out of the pan. Okay, my cake has cooled completely. Here I have a flat serving pan. I'm going to flip the cake over onto the serving pan. And there we go. All right, let's get started with making our butter pecan icing. So in this medium sized bowl, add one and one fourth cups of confectioner sugar, two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, one tablespoon of melted salted butter, four tablespoons of warm whole milk, a half a teaspoon of butter extract, one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract, one eighth of a teaspoon of maple extract and I have a small amount of the brown gel paste food coloring on a toothpick just a tiny bit 
I'm going to swirl that into the liquid. Stir all your ingredients together with a whisk until the mixture is creamy and smooth with no visible lumps. Add two tablespoons of the roasted chopped pecans. Give this a quick stir. And our icing is ready. Pour your butter pecan icing on top of your cake. Let the icing set for about 15 to 30 minutes. And after that, the cake is ready to be served. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Homemade butter pecan pound cake. Made from scratch by a New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. I have an official website for all of my recipes, including this one. Go to www.charliecookandrews.com I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Can't wait. Ah. Now it's time to go eat and take a bite. There it is. Oh yeah. The cake is slightly crumbly, it's moist, just slightly dense. Um, now the question is, does it taste like butter pecan ice cream? When it comes down to, to cakes, like especially like regular cakes, not like cheesecakes or anything like that, um, it's a little bit difficult to get it to to taste exactly like the ice cream. But overall, it does have a very slight buttered pecan flavor. It's really good. So all you gotta do is try the recipe. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Peace.